What's up, everybody? I told you I was going to bring you another video. I told you guys there's going to be another truck coming. Or another build, I should say. This one's going to be pretty gnarly. And when I'm when I say that this one is going to be, sorry, by far the probably the most extensive build besides our own personal project that we've ever taken on ever um so kind of looking forward to it at the same time i'm not looking forward to it there's some extremely big changes um going on uh in the near future um a lot of big changes uh like a lot of things a lot of things changing uh as as we talk about it i'll uh once it all goes on the table we'll, we'll talk about it more but i'm going to show you the truck it's here um the guy just dropped it off and we're going to start building it i'll tell you what we're going to do to it but there it is <clears throat> it's a 1948 chevy it's awesome it's cool a thrift Thrift master, is that what it said on there? Yeah, that's right. Motherfucker's a thrift master, son. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take all this front cab, uh, truck, bed, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And we're gonna take it off and put it on a different chassis. Ford link, coilovers, Ford nine inch rear end. Um, forgot the engine, 6.0 or 6.2, something like that. 6.2 is going in it. So, it's in good shape, man. Definitely. Six speed auto. But yeah. This one's going to be a good one. I'll get all kinds of videos as we're chopping this thing out because the transmission, it's not going to fit. So, we're going to have to do, we're going to have to do some modifying. It is what it is. Oh, this is going to be a good one. We just got the wheels on the gantry because we're going to need that bad boy, especially if we're going to pull this pig. Ugh. Straight six. That's going by why. That'll be out of there. Oh yeah, there it is. Told y'all there was another build coming. They just keep getting older and older, man. I didn't think I was I went from an import guy, then LS, now and here we are with a 1948. I never <coughs> I never thought in a million years that this is where I would be doing this stuff and building these cars and all this stuff with a shop and all that man it's cool man it's pretty neat just it was a show you know what could happen you know shoot i i everybody is you know people say man i've been through some bad stuff <laughs> definitely been through a lot been through the ringer man for sure but here we are here's the project i'm gonna make it short and sweet small little video i'm not cutting her loose tonight um we gonna get on it later but all right y'all i'll see you guys later and uh have a good weekend later like it. it sure does suck it's my boo i love you too man <laughs> he's gonna be in a youtube video don't even know it. that's my buddy josh he said he didn't want to be in a video either and I have really no respect for my friends. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the project. He dropped it off. This is a Speedway Motors chassis or some shit like that. Um, again, we don't know what we're doing, but we make it happen, and it's going to be awesome. Ford 9 entry rear end, all the cool parts, truck, making it happen. And a pair of trees and a pair of trees. That's right. We're going to make it happen. All right. Well, I ain't got no respect either. Back to <laughs> it. Later. What's up, everybody? So, I got some cool, exciting new news. Everybody thought, like, what's going on, bro? Are you okay? Are you okay? We just opening up some new doors to our brand new place. Here we are. Check it out. We waited three years. We should have done this long ago. It's official all day. Check it out. I got my welder here. We just dropped it off. 
Mr. Richie next door. Super nice gentleman. We already introduced ourselves to him. There's our office. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Fucking cool, man. There it is. There's our shop. Pretty fat ass. Check it out. Y'all thought I was having a hard time or something. Nah, man, we just opening up shop, man, that's all. Check it out. There's our office. Probably gonna put a big flat screen TV either there or there. It's gonna have our surveillance cameras and all that stuff. I'm gonna put stereo. Be like, it's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah. I'm probably gonna drive co nuts. So, that's the thing. We opened up shop, and me and Co are going into business together. And we're gonna still continue doing everything, but just under a different name. Even cooler name. A little shorter, easier to remember to. It's gonna be cool, man. It's gonna be cool. Well, welcome to our spot. We're gonna put a big old fucking sticker up there, or banner and all that. You guys are gonna know, watch. And then it's not gonna be long, and we're gonna be out of this place, because our goal is to grow. And we want to grow fast. I forgot to show you this part too. So we got all this in here. And we have an additional thing back here in the back, which is kind of cool. So we we're probably going to set up like powder coating and all that stuff back here. We have a material rack. We're going to have all our materials all on a rack over here. And then we're going to enclose all this right here. This is going to get all enclosed. And then this is additional spot for us right here. Once this is enclosed, then we could probably just leave this door open all the time and stuff like that. But yeah, power, AC, and get moved in. Here we are. Much more videos to come. All right, y'all. Later. This is weird. It's like these screws curve or something. I don't know. Fucking so far with all my shit from the one shop so where I was at was originally the shop was 526 square feet approximately um, of covered space and then a little slab out front where I could kind of um, work there too you know concrete but uh, the new place now is like I want to say, I think it's a like right at 1,400 square feet or something like that, and plus we have 320 square feet of storage, and then an office that's 10 foot, or I'm sorry, 15 foot by 16 foot office, which that's kind of nice too. Uh, but yeah, we're getting stuff set up. I'm fixing to take this load over there, get it unloaded, probably drive back. It's Christmas Eve, and I don't ever stop hustling. On the holiday, It's I do it for the family, I'll go do that, but if it were up to me, I'd be working all the time. I just don't stop. It's, it's 
gotta do it gotta do it so but uh yeah we're getting set up I'll get some more video of over at the shop and stuff of the updates of how the renovations going and everything because we're not just moving into this new location with beat up walls and and cobwebs are everywhere and lights that are half-assed working we don't roll like that so we're doing a full renovation of it putting all all LED lights in it it's gonna be it's gonna be nice man it's gonna be real nice when it's done so paints coming up we got like three four days or something to get all this shit done we got guys working around the clock I think the guys left Co and all them I think him and his cousin they left their shit probably who knows man two three o'clock in the morning probably they left there they were there drywalling and and uh mudding and everything like that so while they're doing that I've been steady bringing stuff from my shop over to this one getting it set up and uh, it won't be long, man. We'll be striking an arc in our new location. Stay tuned, and um, and I'll get some more footage here in a minute, and I'll show you guys what's going on.
It's all emptied out, man. That's where all the magic happened. She ain't ever seen it. Sub everybody. She ain't ever seen it emptied out. It's like a real bittersweet moment. It's crazy. Look at it. All, all empty. Crazy man. We still got a few things to get. Gotta get the compressor. A couple got an engine fixing to leave right now. Got a buddy coming to get that one. And then gotta get that one next. Then the frame for that truck. That's our project next at the new shop. I haven't posted much videos on the YouTube. Sorry. We're transitioning into the new shop. Um, this one, it, it was really small. It looks big. It's like you would think, oh, there's quite a bit of space, but there's only enough room for one vehicle at a time. And if that vehicle is down, it consumes for this chassis, for instance, you know. I can't bring another vehicle in and work on him this weekend. I can't do a quick job or anything like that because this thing's in my way. And that's just the problem we have here. So I need a spot where I can constantly have one of these vehicles set aside that we could work on. Mm -hmm. And then still keep crank and still own. crank on other projects. Yeah, so crazy. We've been here three years, man. Our goal was to only be here for like a year and get out of here. But we've been here three, three whopping years. It's been good, man. We've done a lot of cars, enough cars that we've lost count mm -hmm. on. So, <laughs> but yeah, man, I'll get a whole little bunch of these videos together and stuff, and we'll put a video up on YouTube of the whole process. Uh, all right, and then, yeah. All right, y'all. See ya. What's up everybody? We're here throwing some shit away. Trash. Uh, welcome to the channel, you already know. Uh, we're gonna throw everybody in. Real big changes, real big changes. Oh, one more piece of trash. Just that, just that high lie or something like that. That good stuff. You know. Alright man, we're gonna, we, we've been crunch time. We've been at like, so, Signed the lease on the new shop when? Two weeks ago. This is my buddy Co. We 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 went to school together and everything like that. He's gonna be on the channel. We went we uh we're doing big things together. Put it that way. We both quit our jobs. Uh, went all in. All of our savings, everything invested, everything into a shop, into a business, and we are balls to the walls, going full force, and we're we're on it. You're gonna make it or you're gonna break it, and that's where we're at right now. We're gonna do it. Y'all wanna see the shop? We're gonna go check it out. Come on, let's go. Jump on, let's go. That's awesome.
Alright, here we are. We're back. Alright, y'all seen it before. The day everything we got into this, the doors were opened up. No power or nothing. Power's on. Y'all saw in some previous videos we got the power. Major renovation is pretty much complete. This, this guy right here. Oh, we're crazy. Good, a lot of us. There's uh, everybody. But this guy, man, is like a little genius behind all the madness. It's crazy. Come on in. Wipe your feet. Look. Christina filming right now. She got the mat. I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> we love it. Come on in. Wipe your feet. I want you kidding. Alright. This is the office. All fully painted. Looks good. Dropped a bunch of new can lights in here. Canless lights, right? Yes. Canless. LED flush lights. Yeah. Still got work to go in here. We got work. We got a lot of work to go. Okay, here's the main entrance to the shop here. Everything looks pretty good. Got a lot of key lights in it. There's how many? There's three different types of grays in here. Only white. Only white is the ceiling. That's it. Bathroom's not done yet. It's been extended from the last time you saw it in the other video. And, and, and the other ones, when we first got here with this wall, came to right here. So, how cut it, sliced it, extended the wall, and then this was all missing. As you can see in the other videos, it was all missing. So, we went and added timbers. Once that was stretched out, gave us the footage that we needed. Longer than 16 foot was our issue before. Yes. still here more lighting we haven't even got showed the back that's where like the mess is back there we still have some of that LED over here come check it out this is from the last shop don't don't give me no shit about my wiring man that's why Co's doing everything right there <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, it got the job done, man. It was up there for a long time, two years or something like that. So these are all LEDs. It was donated to a customer. He's a general contractor, and he was going to throw them away. And he's like, man, you want some lighting? Fuck yeah, hell yeah. Can you take that? Yeah, so he hooked this up. We're going to throw some LED up in there and get the rest of the lighting fixed because it's, it's shit lighting. That's, that lighting will work for now. But we got to do something with that lighting up there. And, and everything is, there's a lot of room, but it's just going to go fast. And we got to get it nice and organized. We still have big plans with this right here. We want to ship everything down and then cut, do a big cut out. And, but we have some work to do. And as long as we're allowed to do it, we're going to do it. Right? Oh. Cut some shit up. So, what you guys think? Think we're crazy? Think we lost our minds? I think so. I think so. But you got to be crazy to... To, to be crazy. And then we'll be getting back on the code too. So we got a 48 Chevy coming here as soon. We got to clean up a little bit more, a couple little more things to go, and we're going to be bringing this truck in. It's a 48 Chevy doing a frame swap and uh, putting a 6.2 liter in it. I, I can't remember what engine it is. Uh, automatic trans and we're going to be doing that one we'll get a lot of filming of that uh and then probably be jumping back on the co after that one's done and get the co finished to be done with it and enjoy it and bring it to life a vehicle that's never seen the road since who knows when we know for a fact it's sat in a barn for like 50 years i believe we, we know that or he's been in the family and sat for 50 years probably hasn't seen the road since the 50s probably yeah it's gonna be cool to see it on the road so yeah man we're gonna get some more cleaning done and then yeah more organizing and, and, and then more work all right i'll see you guys later and uh and we'll get this going. All right, now. See ya.